You may have overclocked your graphics card, but have you done it outside? Stick around because that's exactly what we're doing in today's video using a GTX 1080 Ti and our X58 test bench. We're going to see how far I can overclock this graphics card and what the max temperatures are going to be. Let's jump into it. But if this is your first time to the channel and you're into building and fixing up gaming PCs on a budget, consider clicking the subscribe button notification bell to catch all new uploads the moment they drop. Doing this helps me grow here on YouTube and as a content creator. And for that, I appreciate you all to the moon and back. What's happening YouTube internet? Terrence here and we're back inside the lab. As we mentioned earlier in this video, we are overclocking the GTX 1080 Ti outside, which I don't know if you can see, but I have the test bench with the X5675 outside with the 1080 Ti. And we're gonna see how far I can overclock it with temperatures being in our favor because the amb ambient temperatures play an important role when overclocking because the higher you increase the core clock, the higher the heat output. And the cooler, despite being really good, can only push off heat for so much before the card starts to throttle and slow itself down. Especially when it's dependent on how cool the surrounding air is or the ambient temperature, which is in our favor today because temperatures out here in my area are just above 29 degrees C or just at about 30 degrees C. So ideally we should see good temperatures under load, especially when it is dependent on how hot or cool the surrounding air is, which won't be a problem for us today thanks to that massive air cooler we have called the outside. It goes to say that this is also not representation, representative, representative, this is not representative. <laughs> this is not recommended for everyday use. This is strictly in the name of science. So without further delay, let's jump into it and see how far we can overclock this graphics card using a MSI afterburner in heaven. So as you can see, I had dropped down some of the numbers. I might've got just a little too ambitious. And now we're gonna to try to see if we can get heaven to pass at hovering around or sustaining this core clock speed of 2050 megahertz. The goal for today's overclock is to at least get this car to 2.1 gigahertz or 2100 megahertz.
All right, and now I apologize ahead of time for the audio, as you probably can hear the fans on the GTX 1080 Ti. They are at 100%, and we still are unable to get a successful pass in heaven. So I'm going to actually dial it back down to plus 85 on the core and leave the memory alone and see how hot the temperature gets with the 100% fan speed curve. Well, there you have it. I couldn't even get it to pass in Fire Strike, and I'm gonna officially call it. I'm going to say I reached this graphics card's overclocking limit. I am a little bit disappointed. I was hoping to push it a little further or as close to 2.1 gigahertz as possible. We were only able to get it stable with plus 85 on the core, which took us to a max 2063 megahertz or 2063 megahertz. And that was as far as the car could go. We were able to keep the car really cool with it being outside. So like I stated a few minutes ago, I think I have reached this car's overclocking limit and I officially tapped out. And to learn more about budget, and to learn more about budget PCs and other gaming related stuff, watch the top video first and then bottom one next. Tap the round icon right there to your right of your screen and consider coming back and joining us for more PC tech and other gaming related stuff. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and go, guys. That'll be all for this one. Thanks for giving it a watch. I hope to catch you all on the next one. So until then, be easy.